In this video, I'm just going to be talking about how excited I am for the new repurpose.io Pinterest ideas feature and how you can utilize this in your business so that you can have the best results with Pinterest. So if you haven't already, go ahead and log into your repurpose.io dashboard and there's some really cool announcements that I think you'll love. So when you log in on the top right, there's a little bell icon and you can see some of the big news and stories. And I'm sure that we'll be getting um, a lot of different tips and tricks from, um, from Roy whenever he goes over all the features, but I just am super thrilled and excited for this. So you can do uh, Instagram stories now. Um, TikTok video length is now extended to 10 minutes, which a lot of people have asked for. But for me, this is the one that I'm most excited for. Um, Pinterest idea pins integration. So we already had um, Pinterest pins. And so I've been used, utilizing that workflow for a long time. But I've always wanted Pinterest ideas. And there's a difference. Um, right now, if, I'm going to read this with you because it says, Unlock your creativity and inspire others with our integration with I Pinterest idea pins. Last week, Pinterest announced that they are combining their regular video pins, which is what we had before, and video idea pins into one video pin. So this is nice, and because it was kind of confusing before anyways, how they did it. So this is just makes a lot of sense. This gives you all the benefits of the idea pin plus the option to add links to it. This is huge, having links to every single video idea pin that you have. That's amazing, and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. If you already have a workflow publishing to Pinterest, it will automatically start publishing as the new video pin. So you don't actually, I, I logged in today and I um, reconnected and made the new workflow, but you don't actually have to do that. So Repurpose already fixed that for you. If you don't, um, if you don't, you can simply add Pinterest as a connection and create your first workflow to publish the new Pinterest video pins today. And so let's go into that. Okay. So. I had to reset up one. It says Pinterest idea pin. See, they changed it. So um, I'm going to set that to auto. Confirm. Um, so now, so if you have never set up one, you have to go to connections. And most people, I can almost guarantee you would start with TikTok because that's predominantly what people use repurpose for. So you want to make sure that your TikTok is added as a connection. You just got to add connection and put in your TikTok. And then you add a new connection and then you um, put in your Pinterest account and you connect them. Once you do that, I'll show you exactly how I just redid my workflow. You do not have to redo your workflow if you already have one. So just to make that clear, I just did it on accident because I didn't know that Repurpose already did it for us. <laughs> so you just do create a new workflow. So you just load it up here really fast. Um, and then you're going to make it whatever your source is. You're going to name it first. So like for me, it would be TikTok to Pinterest idea ideas. Okay. And again, if you already have one, you don't have to worry about this because it's already in motion and it's already done for you. Let me press next. And then you go, for me, the source is TikTok. And then I only have one TikTok account. And then you want to do upload video and you want to do full video. Cause that's our action. Then the destination is Pinterest and there you, you can have multiple boards. So like, like for example, I have one with books you need for marketing, make money online, making money, making hacks. So you can just choose whichever one and then you just press done. Or if you don't have a board, you can just create one here, which is really cool. Now I already have a, um, a workflow for this. So I'm just going to show you some really cool things. When you go to, um, when, when your workflow is done, obviously you can have it set to manual if you want to. I always like it on auto because I don't want to have to do more work. Work smarter, not harder, I always say. <laughs> but for me, I go to the cog, right? And there's a couple of settings. So obviously these are some of the video example here. Um, I always just have an original video. Um, I don't have the burn subtitles in there. Um, I do like to get emailed whenever it's successful publish. Just to let me know that it went well. But this is cool right here. So I have my link is going to my YouTube channel because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, right? So you can put your link into every anything you want. So this is huge because how many times within a video do you get to put your link in there? Like for example, you can't have a link with your TikTok video or your Instagram video, right? They have to go to your bio. So this is amazing because every single video will have your link on it. 
and so you just put your default Pinterest link, and so you don't have to you don't have to worry about it, and so you just press save. So now every time that I make a TikTok video, it will automatically make it into a Pinterest idea pin, a Pinterest idea video actually. So Pinterest by far is one of my favorite sources of traffic just because the keywords are always ranking and the shelf life of your videos are much longer. So that's why I'm most excited for this update. I've wanted um, Pinterest pin, uh, pin ideas. I wanted Pinterest video ideas for a long, long time. So that's why I'm super excited. And you can see that every month I'm getting 16,000 on average monthly views. 2.6 followers and um, it's just always generating me traffic and views so you should be super stoked about this um, I know that over time this can be a really great traffic source for you and your business and like I said it's completely now on autopilot so if you have any questions let us know in the comments but if not we will see you guys in the next video